This is Nanyan Station. I'm going to do a BTS tour today. The BTS 10th anniversary poster has appeared here for a long time. With this as the starting point, we will begin our tour to learn about the history of BTS. We'll go through their first, second, and third dorms, and we'll go through the two used as buildings for big hit entertainment before being renamed to Hive. Also, we will go to the park they often went to when they were preparing for their debut. Of course, I go with explanation. This is a guided BTS tour. It's free, no car use, walk only. I will go out through exit 10. It will take about an hour. I came out of exit 10. First, I'll walk to the second dorm. The weather is clear today. The sun is warm and it is now around 100 p.m. It is a suitable day for walking. This place is called Nanyan Dong, and among my recent videos, there is a video of walking from Gangnam to Nanyan at 11 p.m., and Nanyan Station is here. This street is called Furniture Street. Let's go to the alley. It seems that this side is quieter than the main road. There are many companies and restaurants on this side. You can tour the same route while watching this video later. I will take the shortest course to see everything and walk. It's lunchtime, so it's the time when office workers come out to eat lunch and walk around. There won't be many people. Between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock. On the driveway side of Nanyan Dong, it is called Furniture Street, and domestic and foreign furniture shops are lined up. There are also many high-end furniture stores. If you are interested in furniture, you can also visit Nanyan Furniture Street. BTS dorm moved three times in total. They lived in a small place that used an office as a home for the first dorm. It was a poor environment to live in. And they got through their hardships by eating walking and talking in nearby parks and restaurants, relieving their emotions, and practicing relentlessly. Then they moved into a second residence. In the first dorm, seven people lived together in one room. However, the second dorm they moved to was a house. They moved to a nearby villa 200 meters away in 2015, when the album Huayang Yanhua became popular. It would be nice to see the first dorm in order but we will look at the second dorm starting from the subway station to make it easier for you to find. There is no subway station near the first dorm. The closer to the subway station, the more expensive the house in Korea. At that time, when J-Hope was asked, what was the happiest thing you did this year? He answered that he had moved, and BTS also made a song titled, Moving On. 
the area of the second dorm was 1.5 times the area of the first dorm. It is said that the view was good because it was on the top floor, sixth floor. I think they moved to a good place because overseas fans loved them more than domestic fans did. This neighborhood looks like a town where rich people live. This is the case with luxury villas like this in Korea. Saore Village, a French village in my video, has houses arranged in this form. This neighborhood appears to have some security. We have arrived at the second dorm. This is the building you see on the right. Let's stop and take a closer look. It was on the sixth floor, the highest. It was up there. It would have been nice to have a lot of windows. Shall we go to the entrance of the building? If they walked, they would have gone this way, but I think most of them went into the parking lot. They must have walked a lot in the first dorm. Now, let's go to the first dorm of BTS. It is said that it is 200 meters away from here, but if it is uphill, it will be difficult. They may have carried their luggage by car when they moved but they could have moved some valuable luggage by themselves on foot. Electronic products such as laptops are vulnerable to shock when moving. They would have moved on foot this way. They would have walked the opposite way, so they must have walked downhill. There are a lot of cars, but it is a wide and quiet road by the standards of the roads in Seoul. There are many luxury villas.
Living a place like this could have been more difficult mentally in the early days of debut. When rich people who live well come and go, they might be compared. However, they must have had a dream and had certainty. The forest in front of you over there is a park that BTS often went to. Fans must know it all. It is a place called Hakdong Park. When they were at the first dorm, it was close, so they went there often. I will go over there too. It is not easy to be a guide who speaks alone without talking. If you have any questions or ask me to go somewhere, I will go and take a video if it is possible. I will walk more and talk more. I didn't know that I would walk and talk so hard. It's been a month since I started doing this properly. I also like to walk and I like music, so doing this is very suitable for me. If you leave a request or comment in the comments, I will reflect it a lot. I am going along the park on purpose now. I'm looking for an entrance. It is also the way to the first dorm. I welcome questions and requests related to K-pop. Of course, on my channel, I will show many places in Korea and Asia. I like to travel. Especially, I often go to Japan. I lived in the US, learned French and Japanese, so when I travel, I can communicate to some extent. I'll go through the entrance over there. What did BTS do in this park? Look and imagine. Even when they are not famous.
I am here for the first time, and it's very nice. The road is pretty. There are exercise equipment and a traditional Korean shelter. <laughs> BTS must have come and worked out. <laughs> they sat there and had a rest. It is written as Hakdong Neighborhood Park. Officially, Hakdong Park, in English. It's a really nice park. I need to come again. <laughs> now, if we go a little further, we will see the first dorm. Take a look around, remembering that they've had a rough time in this neighborhood. It looks different from where the second dorm was. The road is also narrow. Near here is the first office of Big Hit Entertainment. I'll go to the office building after looking at the dorm. There's a lot of construction going on. Maybe this development may be also because of BTS. 
This town itself has a touristic feel. Now, that's the building on the left over there. There are a convenience store and a cafe on the first floor. They lived when the sales of their first album were not good. They lived on the third floor of that building. As I told you, that space was used as an office. If you come, buy something delicious at a convenience store or cafe as a souvenir. How did they live? Just imagine. Seven people in one room. Let's walk to old Big Hit's office before current high view. After seeing the second dorm in part one, I came to the first dorm you see here. BTS walked from this dorm to the nearby agency Big Hit office. Let's walk the same road they walked every day in the early days. This road was the one BTS walked or ran every day. They were on their way home from practice, and there was a practice room that they had to go to even if they woke up in the morning and their muscles hurt all over their bodies, their neck hurts, and their heart hurts. The practice room was on the first basement floor, and it was small. There was a restaurant on the first floor of the building where the practice room was located. After practicing in the basement, they ate on the first floor, and during breaks, they went to the park and went to the practice room again and again. Now, they use the large practice room in the agency building exclusively. However, in the past, the basement practice room was shared with other singers from the same company. By dividing the time, it must have been difficult for the CEO who created the startup big hit, where everything was poor, but it must have been even more difficult for the singers. Memories of the days when they were young, sleeping together in one room with bunk beds attached to each other. Let's imagine and feel together while walking now. The road I'm on right now is BTS way to work. Office workers going to work, students going to school, owners going to open the store, all cheer up. If you walk on the street every morning, the days you worked hard will come together and one day you will do great like BTS. We have already arrived. The building in the front right is the building where the first big hit office was located. They rented and used the second floor of the building. BTS fans come and take pictures against the graffiti on the wall. Thank you so much to the building owner who didn't erase the graffiti. Because the graffiti came together, it became a work of art. It's like a mural. Nice people who didn't even take off what was glued to the window. You are good citizens. I'm going to take a look around here and go to the side to see the whole building. There was a nice house without a wall, so I looked into it and it was a wedding photography studio. 
In the past, instead of a studio, an Illy cafe was located in a building with a pretty garden. BTS had a broadcast interview at the cafe. The whole building seems to be visible from here. The decorations on the building are nice. Nice to meet you, ARMY fans. When they were driving, they must have entered and exited the parking lot here. Now, let's go to the building where BTS basement practice room and the restaurant they frequented are together. It looks like the Beatles are walking in front. After 15 minutes. I will reveal photos taken in 2015 and 2018 of all the buildings shown on this tour along with BTS third dorm. You can see the past big hit building that is clean without any graffiti. The road to the practice room is a wide road. It is a wide road that can be walked by seven people holding hands and walking side by side. What did they think about every day as they walked? Did they ever imagine they would be so successful? What was the process of preparing for young people in their 20s from all over Korea, meeting people they didn't know in a neighborhood they didn't know well and living together with? You can see Amy's coffee on the signboard. The spelling is similar to ARMY. This is the cafe where BTS used to go. See the purple one on the right? It says, BTS restaurant, in Korean, and there are several menus. There are people gathered there. I can see the green entrance that used to be a practice room on the first basement floor. The restaurant is full of BTS photos. The restaurant is full of ARMY fans. They are eating something as a group in a restaurant. If you translate the letters written on the signboard into English, it is, Yiri Mountain Wangtu Town Native Black Pig. They also sell pork, but there are many other menu items.
they are all Korean food, most of which include pork, and the vegetarian menu includes bibimbap. There are a lot of vegetables, so you don't have to eat meat. I won't go inside the restaurant. If you come here, try the Korean meal that BTS ate at the restaurant. There are many BTS photos and goods in the restaurant. Please take a picture of the place that used to be the underground practice room. Office workers around here also come here to eat a lot. Now, what's left is Big Hit's second office and BTS' third dorm. Big Hit's third office is in a difficult walk from here. However, since they didn't stay there for long and moved to Yongsen, I omitted it from this BTS tour. This is an only walk tour. Now, I will walk to the second building of Big Hit. They had a difficult time in the early days of their debut in this neighborhood. And, when they started to succeed to some extent, BTS moved into their second dorm in June 2015. Big Hit in May 2017, they moved into their second office building. For reference, Big Hit was first established in 2005. BTS' second dorm can be seen as being in the middle of the first Big Hit office building and the second Big Hit office building. BTS' third dorm was moved closer to the second Big Hit office building. All their locations were selected with some meaning. Currently, the Highview office building in both Yongsen and dorm in Hanamdong have the meaning, too. They chose a place with good security. It is said that New Jeans has been a two-room dorm since the beginning, so it reflects the changed Highview. Let's go straight ahead and walk along this road. This road is called Nanyan RO and is the way to Hak Dong Station. Nanyan means rice fields and hills. And the meaning of Hak Dong is a name that came from the shape of the village resembling a crane. As you can see in Hakdong, there are luxury villas, luxury houses, and hotels along the roads. It is also the place where entertainment agencies such as Source Music and DSP Media used to be located. It should be seen as a vibrant commercial district. Earlier, at Yujong restaurant, BTS ate three main dishes food every day, black pork dalsit bibimbap, and sambap. Budejigae is army stew in English. It's fun, right? As for why the name is like that, when the US Army was stationed in Korea after the Korean War, American sausages and hams first came to Korea through US military bases. It got its name because the Korean chefs at the restaurant mixed Korean red pepper paste with sausages and ham from the US military base to make the stew. Ingredients include ham, sausage, baked beans, kimchi, ramen, rice cake, tofu. On the menu board of Yujong restaurant, sausage stew is written in English. In Korean, it is army stew. And if I explain the meaning of stone pot bibimbap, it is to put bibimbap in a stone pot to keep the temperature hot. If the temperature is hot, it also has the effect of sterilizing unboiled vegetables in a short time. Of course, there is also the effect that slightly hot rice will taste better. Lastly, sambap means to eat rice wrapped in green vegetables. Those who have eaten bulgogi in Korea will know what it means. Bulgogi is beef but Yujong restaurant uses pork, so that's a bit different. For vegetarians, it would be nice to eat bibimbap and ss ambap without meat. 
Big Hit's first trainee was a singer named Lee Yun. Big Hit launched a group called Eight for the first time. There were three of them, including Lee Yun, and in 2009, the song, Without a Heart, became a hit. It's a very cool song, so please listen to it. In addition, 2AM and K-Will also worked at Big Hit. See Hyuk Bang, the founder of Big Hit, graduated from Seoul National University. He must have been a good student when he was young. He belonged to JYP and learned everything about producing from producer Jin Young Park. When Wonder Girls were active in the US, he lived with JYP founder there. The reason why Shi Hyuk Bang became known to the public was as a judge in a Korean audition program similar to American Idol in the United States, where he acted as a strongly blunt critic like Simon Cowell. Unlike the other judges who expressed their opinions kindly, he became a hot topic with his straightforward attitude. Many people got to know Si Hyuk Bang at that time, and his academic background as a graduate of Seoul National University became a hot topic. I also first got to know Si Hyuk Bang at that time, and came to know him as a composer. That was 2010. If you look at the old video materials, he will appear in the videos as the judges at that time. As a judge, he became an issue by strongly presenting evaluation opinions pointing out the appearance, not singing, on the scary-looking face. He is now the head of a fairly large company, Highview, and is known to have a fortune of about 2 trillion won. He became richer than JYP Jin Young Park, who taught him. Now we have arrived at Hakdon Station. I will cross the road here. I am happy to know BTS. It's a pity that they can't do activities together because some of them went to the military service. In Korea, the issue of enlisting in the military service is a very serious issue that cannot be easily resolved. Engineers, accomplished artists, and national athletes may not serve in the military. Considering BTS achievements, it may be enough to avoid enlisting. However, the fact that some celebrities have shown bad attitudes about the military service may have had a big impact. For example, Sai, you all know, was caught for corruption related to military service and went to the army at the age of 30. Although he went to the military at the older age than normal, he was discharged diligently and restored his honor. A singer who deliberately pulled out their teeth to avoid enlisting, a singer who intentionally gained weight, a singer who changed the nationality to the US, and a singer who tried to illegally enroll the graduate school for delay. There were too many. Compared to this, our BTS members deserve applause and respect for going to the military service with pride. Fans should know that BTS enlisted in the military is something they are proud of. The building on the left is Big Hit's second office building. The name was Yangjin Plaza and the office was on the fifth floor. Let's go around the wall.
A hardware store and ceramic tile shop are located on the first floor. The building is nice. The window is blue, so it's Jungkook's color. Let's go to the entrance to the building. Soon, I will show you pictures of buildings in the years 2015 and 2018 in the third BTS dorm. If you subscribe this channel, I can walk more, talk more, and prepare good videos. If you leave a comment with good information, I will refer to it. Big hit building in 2015. The walls are clean with no graffiti. This is its picture from 2018. Graffiti is starting to show. This is the first dorm of 2015. This is the dorm in 2018. The neighbor building is covered with ivy. Yujing restaurant in 2015. Nothing is pasted. This is the second office building of Big Hit in 2018. The third dorm in 2015. It was an ordinary house. After BTS moved in, the fence was covered with wooden boards. I tried to find old photos and put them together. It's now 2023 and a lot has changed. Some things remain the same. Their status has changed a lot. However, the hearts of the fans and BTS remain the same. I also put some old photos at the end. Please watch till the end. Let's walk to the BTS third dorm. First, we will go out on the main road. I tried to put music in the background, but I didn't put it in for you to hear the surrounding sound as it is so that you could feel like walking. Even if you hear the sound of cars and motorcycles, please understand. I took the route through the quiet alley as much as possible. If we assume that BTS is on their way home from work, they will all ride in a van together. There won't be much difference between walking and driving. There was a dorm in a residential area on a quiet and narrow street. To cross the street, I will go to the crossroads over there. To Hakdong Station intersection. Shall we talk about the BTS members? The first member I got to know was Erm. Erm initially promoted under the name Rap Monster. And he appeared in a quiz program called, Problematic Man. It was a quiz program in 2015, and celebrities with high IQs came out to solve quizzes. It was a program I enjoyed watching, and the youngest person there was Erm, who was good at talking, solving quizzes, and smart, so that's when I first learned about BTS. Erm studied very well, and you probably know that he is good at English. V and Jungkook are really handsome. I remember it was fun that V imitated Sai Gangnam Style's elevator guy Hong Chul no shooting beating in the music video. Celebrity Hong Chul No is really funny. He has been traveling these days. Jimin majored in dance, so his dance is very beautiful. In particular, the tone and dance reminiscent of Michael Jackson are amazing. The video of Jimin and Jungkook dancing to Michael Jackson's, Black or White, is amazing. J-Hope also performed Michael Jackson's dance in MMA in 2022, and it felt like Michael was reincarnated.
I entered the inner road without a car. There are many shops selling floor tiles and doing construction here on the street. If you are interested in furniture or interior, please visit this street. They would have tried to find the third dorm in a place that is difficult to find and hard to come by. Let's continue walking towards the third dorm. Shuga is a rapper who is good at rapping, but he is also good at composing and writing lyrics. He is also called August D. It is Shuga reversed Agus and DT of Daegu Town reversed and added. If I say about Jin, his appearance is like that of a talent or a movie star. V and Jungkook have good looks, and I think Jin has good looking with different characteristics. Fans will know better, so I will finish my thoughts and opinions about the members. I entered the alley, and the houses here look like single-person households. Since this neighborhood is a commercial district, there must be many young people who came to Seoul alone from areas other than Seoul, and they often live in these studio apartments. Uniquely in Korea, high-rise apartments are the most expensive. In most of other countries, housing types such as houses, residential commercial complexes, and mansions in Japan are expensive. Even in Europe, apartments are not supposed to be where the rich live. I don't see many apartments here. It appears to be a mix of commercial and residential areas. In this neighborhood, you can often see buildings with ivy vines attached to them. You can see the playground. The playground is also a place for relax. Sitting on the swing, resting and talking. I have all those memories. It's also romantic to sit on a swing at night and talk with a lover. The uphill road started, which is quite steep. There is a feeling of mountain climbing, but the narrow and uphill road seems to be the point of catching the third dorm. It's a neighborhood where students without cars can't easily walk, the bus does not come, and it's difficult to park a car. In the past, I've seen dozens of middle and high school fans in front of an idol's dorm all night long. In the end, they moved because of the protests of the surrounding residents. Dorms that are difficult to come by must have meaning. The privacy of popular celebrities should be protected. Excessive protection is not good for fans, so protection is needed in the right way. The uphill slope here is really steep enough to make you gasp. You will feel it when you come later. Fans came here for sightseeing in a car like the one on the left. I've been walking. Almost arrived. I feel so good that my camera hand is shaking.
The third residence is now a cafe. The name of the cafe is Hayuga, and it means vacation. It's all here. It sells salt bread, which is popular these days. Cafe Hayuga. There may be many people in the cafe. People passing by may not know about the third dorm because there is no BTS photo on the outside. Tourist center. All look around and go into the cafe. When the BTS members were frustrated, they must have walked around the neighborhood. Let's go back to that imagination. It's high up, so you can see far away. It's a place with only houses. It's such a quiet neighborhood with no one passing by. This slope, you grown. I feel like squatting, burning in the thigh. There is also a cafe over there. One restaurant here. There's something cool about the ivy on the wall. Let's go inside the cafe. I entered through the door of the cafe. The garden is small. 
opened the glass door. A sketch of BTS drawn by a young student. They must have been each in their room. It must have been B's room. love. Fans have left many messages. This is the first broadcast that they took first place. Thank you for watching the BTS tour.